Day two of the Olympics and Team USA finally reaching the medal podium. America's first gold going to swimmer Chase Kalish, embracing teammate Jay Litherland after the pair nabbed a gold and silver in the 400 individual medley. The warning tonight from Olympic officials about this moment. Japan's Naomi Osaka dominant in her first match back on the world stage after withdrawing from the French Open to focus on her mental health. But the U.S. women's gymnastics team and the U.S. men's basketball team, both gold medal favorites, stumbling. Here's ABC's Jay. James Longman tonight from Tokyo. Tonight, an unsettled start for Team USA at the strangest of summer games. For the first time since 1972, the US did not medal on day one. And on day two, women's gymnastics losing some of their invincible aura, finishing second in the qualifying round. Simone Biles and Sunny Salih finishing in first and second place. They now advance to compete in the all-round finals. Despite some stumbles, Bars has advanced to all finals and the chance to win six golds. USA Swimming raking in the medals. Simone Manuel and the US 4x100 freestyle relay team taking bronze. But it was Chase Kalish taking home Team USA's first gold in the 400 individual medley. If I could hope anything comes from that is that it motivates the rest of my teammates. Kalish with an embrace for his teammate Jay Liverland, who took silver on the podium for the International Olympic Committee with a reminder, no hugging and masks on even for winners. Inside the Olympic bubble, 137 people have tested positive for COVID, at least 16 are athletes. Star US golfer Bryson DeChambeau testing positive before leaving Tokyo, knocking him out of the competition. And today, perhaps the biggest upset, Team USA basketball losing to France, ending their 25-game Olympic winning streak going back to the 2004 Games in Athens. Drew Holiday leading the team just days after winning the NBA championship with the Milwaukee Bucks. We're smart players. Uh, smart players, great character, and, and we'll figure it out these next two. The team still has a chance. They'll have to win games against Iran and the Czech Republic to advance to the medal round. And for the first time, skateboarding and surfing seen at the Olympics. The new sports also adding more women to the Tokyo Games than ever before. There is full gender equality across all of those new sports and new events, which really underlines uh, our approach to, to providing gender equality. And US fencer Lee Kiefer making history. Kiefer needs one touch for a gold medal. Becoming the first American ever to win an Olympic medal in individual foil. It's such an incredible feeling. I wish I could chop it up in little pieces and distribute it to everyone I love. <laughs> And Lindsay, this is one of the hottest Olympics in history. It's more than 90 degrees here most days, 80% humidity. One athlete actually passed out because of it. And on top of that, there is a storm on the way. Some events have had to be rescheduled. Lindsay? As if COVID were not enough, the weather is another obstacle, James. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.